Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up MetaMask in your browser so that you can manage your Ethereum and your ERC20 tokens in a browser based wallet. So let's get started. Okay, so MetaMask is a browser based Ethereum wallet. It's actually a browser extension that will run in your browser. And you can use it to manage your Ethereum. You can send and receive and check your balance. It can also be used to manage ERC20 tokens, which are basically sub tokens of your Ethereum wallet. So it's a pretty versatile way to manage Ethereum and ERC20 tokens. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're on the MetaMask website. You don't wanna download a uh, copycat or a false MetaMask. So just make sure you're at metamask.io and you're going to hit download now. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to install the uh, browser extension, depending on what platform you're on. Right? So I'll hit install. It's going to open up the Chrome Web Store and then I'll be able to add this to my browser. I'm using Brave. Uh, it also works very well in Chrome. So it's up to you which uh, browser you would like to add it to. So we'll just click add to Brave and then I'm gonna hit add extension. And then you'll see it launches in my browser. I got the little fox following me around. So I'll hit get started. And uh, if you already have a wallet that you wanna import, you can do that. But we're just gonna create a brand new wallet here. All right, and they give you some warnings. We'll hit I agree. I encourage you to read all of these very carefully. You're fully responsible for uh, this wallet. Right there, uh, talking a little bit about what they uh, do and don't monitor. Of course, they don't control your private keys, uh, and they don't collect your IP address, and they don't sell uh, any of your data for profit. Right. So you're fully responsible for this wallet. If you lose your private key and you accidentally uninstall it, or the computer crashes or gets stolen, MetaMask cannot help you recover your wallet, right? You're going to have to uh, back up your wallet and be responsible for it. So we we'll click, uh, I agree. I'll set a password. They're going to give you a secret backup phrase, which is what's called a seed phrase. All right. And you can click to reveal your seed phrase here and you want to write it down on a piece of paper. And what I like to do is write the name of the wallet and the date that I'm writing it down and then all of the numbers in order for the wallet. It's going to be a 12 word seed phrase. All right, so we'll just click to reveal and there are our words. Uh, write it down on a piece of paper in order and keep that paper in a safe place. Okay, once you've written that down, you can click next. So they want you to confirm this by clicking the words in order and they'll appear in the box above. So we'll start with word number one. All right, and once you've done that, you'll hit confirm and then you're good to go. All right, and so you can see here that uh, the Ethereum wallet has been created and I have an empty balance. Now it's appearing in the browser window right now. Uh, the other way to manage it is uh, from the extension up here. So uh, in many cases, you'll probably be using the extension because you'll be on a different website uh, in the main part of your browser. So this is the easiest way to manage MetaMask over here in the extension. Now you'll notice that it's empty. So we're gonna need to put some Ethereum in here so that we can uh, utilize MetaMask. All right, and so there are a lot of ways to buy Ethereum out there. Uh, you can go to Coinbase, uh, Binance US, Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, CoinX, there are a lot of exchanges out there uh, that sell Ethereum. And the uh, basically what you need to do is get yourself signed in and purchase a little bit of Ethereum. So we just go over to trade in Coinbase and we'll switch to Ethereum. And I'm gonna use my debit card to do this. I'll just buy a small amount of Ethereum. I'll hit preview buy. You can of course buy as much as you think you might need. I'll hit preview. Uh, buy now. Once you've uh, purchased the Ethereum, you just go over to Portfolio uh, and click on Ethereum, and we're going to send it to our MetaMask wallet. So how do we do that? We uh, open up our MetaMask, 
And uh, there is the account address for our Ethereum. So we can just click on that. It copies it into our clipboard. We'll go down here. Uh, I'll hit send all and I'll paste in that Ethereum address of my MetaMask wallet and then I'll hit send. All right, they'll give us an overview. We'll hit send now. I'll put in my two-factor authentication, confirm there, and off the Ethereum goes over to my MetaMask wallet. Now this is a fine distinction, right? There's a difference between having Ethereum on an exchange where you can purchase and trade and having Ethereum in your own wallet. You need to have Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet if you're going to be trading on decentralized exchanges, right? You control the private key of this wallet. All right, and you can see there that the Ethereum that I withdrew from my uh, Coinbase wallet has arrived in my MetaMask wallet. And uh, this is pretty much the same on all of the exchanges. Uh, basically, the key here is the address of your uh, MetaMask Ethereum wallet. You can click on that to copy it into your clipboard. You would go to the exchange of your choice, find Ethereum, buy Ethereum, and do a withdrawal and then just paste in your own address to make that withdrawal. I'll do the same thing on uh, Binance US. All right, and then the same thing applies for uh, Binance proper. So you would just go to your Ethereum, hit withdrawal, paste in your uh, MetaMask address, and do your withdrawal. So uh, every exchange is slightly di different interface. Maybe the terminology might be a little different. It might say send, it might say withdraw but uh, it's pretty much the same process, right? You can also move Ethereum from one of your own wallets if you have Ethereum in a different wallet and you wanna move it into MetaMask so you can do some uh, decentralized trading. Uh, you can do that as well. Uh, same concept, right? We'll just copy that uh, address into our clipboard. We'll go over to uh, whatever wallet that we're using, send Ethereum over and we'll just use the address of our MetaMask wallet and transfer Ethereum in there. All right, I'm just sending a little bit uh, of Ethereum over from my uh, ledger-based wallet. Uh, one thing you don't wanna do is send Bitcoin into the MetaMask wallet. It's not compatible with Bitcoin. So if I try to send Bitcoin over to an Ethereum address, it's gonna reject it outright, all right? So be careful uh, what you send over into your MetaMask wallet. Now, you can also send ERC20 tokens into your MetaMask wallet. As you can see, I've got a little bit of link here. I can send that to the exact same address, right? It's the same uh, address of the Ethereum wallet of your MetaMask. So I'll hit continue here. I'll go ahead and send uh, the max. All right, so you can send ERC20 tokens directly into your uh, MetaMask wallet, right? And uh, so where are the ERC20 tokens? Well, uh, they actually, uh, some of the major ERC20 tokens will simply appear in the wallet automatically when you send them. All right, so you can see that the uh, link arrived in my uh, MetaMask wallet, and I really didn't have to do anything except just send it to the Ethereum address of the main wallet, and it appeared as a separate account down here. But not all ERC20 tokens behave like that. Some ERC20 tokens need to be added uh, for their balance to show up. So let me send an obscure token and see what happens. All right, so you can see here that all three of the Ethereum uh, transactions that I uh, sent over to the wallet have arrived, right? I uh, bought some uh, Ethereum on Coinbase. Uh, I uh, transferred some from a previous wallet that I own, and uh, I, bought a, I transferred a little bit from my Binance US account, right? So uh, those have all arrived. Okay, that one showed up as well. Uh, but there may be times where uh, the asset that you would like to deposit is kind of obscure and it's not showing up yet. So I'll try to send one that uh, is a little bit obscure and kind of show you how this works. Um, I'm going to use my trust wallet. All right, so I have this uh, BZX protocol token and it probably is not going to show up in MetaMask automatically. 
So uh, I'll do a send, and I'm going to scan that QR code in MetaMask. And the way to do that is to uh, click the three dots over here and choose account details, and you'll get the QR code of your uh, wallet address. Makes it easy. So I'm just gonna tap the scan button. I'll scan that QR code. I'll go ahead and send about 50 tokens over. Click done here and next. I'll send that over. And uh, that's heading out. Let's see what happens over on the MetaMask side. All right, so in the case of this particular token, it's not showing up automatically. So uh, where did it go? How do you see it? Well, it's in the wallet, right? We just need to uh, add that token. So we can search for it. So we'll, uh, we'll hit add token, and then we can search for the token. It's not showing up, right? So uh, what will we do? Now we can try CoinGecko.com and search for it there. All right, and I found it on CoinGecko. So I can just click on it on CoinGecko. And now I can go over to etherscan.io. All right, and uh, here is the uh, etherscan.io of this particular token. I can copy the contract address into my clipboard. We'll go back over here. We're gonna choose add token again, but this time we'll go to custom token and I'll paste in that address, right? When I paste in that contract address, it recognizes the token symbol in the decimal, decimals. I'll hit next, and lo and behold, they show up now. Not only that, but the balance is there, right? So they were there, they just weren't showing up in the wallet until I uh, manually added the uh, contract address, right? So we'll hit add tokens, and there we go shows the amount and uh, the dollar amount and I can go back here and now it's in my list of tokens. So you might need to do that, uh, especially when you're on an exchange where you're buying or swapping for an obscure token, you've made your trade and then you're wondering where your token is. Well, you're gonna have to find the contract address of the token on etherscan.io and then copy the contract address into your clipboard and manually add it to your uh, MetaMask wallet. All right, so that's how we uh, add tokens and Ethereum to our wallet. A couple other things I'd like to cover here. You can manage accounts. You can have more than one account. All right, so uh, you can create a different account. You'll have uh, account number two. And so uh, you'll be able to manage both of those. And they'll show up as two different accounts in your MetaMask. You can also import an account. So if you've got a private key or a JSON file on your computer, you can import that account into your MetaMask. And then also you can connect your hardware. So if you have a hardware device, such as I have a Ledger device, I'll just enter the Ethereum app on my device and I'll choose Ledger and Connect, and then MetaMask will read my Ethereum addresses that I have stored on this wallet. And as you can see here, uh, there's one. I can click that and choose Unlock, and now I can manage that account from my MetaMask, right? And then we can uh, go up here to switch between the accounts. So you can manage multiple Ethereum wallets within MetaMask, it's very versatile. So as you can see, MetaMask is a very versatile uh, browser extension that you can use to manage Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens. You can manage multiple accounts. You can import accounts. You can uh, connect to hardware devices and manage your tokens from those devices. So it's a very versatile uh, browser extension and can also be used for uh, trading on decentralized exchanges. So I'll probably cover that in uh, another video. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.